We love our fast forwards here in Britain and so the arrival of the new Ford Focus ST is quite an occasion so rather than film it at our usual car buy location we've come all the way out to some fantastic driving roads in Wales which is why it's blowing an absolute gale. Now I'm going to kick off this review by getting into the back seats which may seem a bit wrong for a performance car review but bear with me. The key thing to note about the Ford Focus ST is that it has rear doors which means it's easy to live with every day and perfect if you want a performance car which is also good for your family. The boot size, it's reasonable, it's not the best in class and I'll let you have a look at it now with a cutaway. Now if you do need more boost space than this car has to offer, you can always get the Focus ST as an estate model which is really handy. However that's enough talking about practicality, let's go on with some cool driving shots. Seeing as the normal Focus is the best handling car in its class, it will come as no surprise to you that the ST corners beautifully. Now, Ford has set it up in a way that it doesn't feel quite as glued to the road when you're on the limit as some of its rivals, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because you can quite easily adjust it with tiny input to the steering and the throttle, so it always feels predictable and never unsafe. And if you do make a complete hash of things, there's always the excellent ESP anti-skid control to help reel things in. The ST is also available with the Focus's class-leading range of safety aids. This includes a system which will steer you back on track if you weave out of your lane and an auto-braking facility to prevent accidents at low speeds. Now, this is probably going to make me sound a bit like an old man, but one of my favourite things about the ST is just how easy it is to live with. Now, these kind of cars often have very hard suspension, but this one glides over bumps in the road. It really is quite remarkable. Also, the seats, normally in performance cars, you get bucket seats, which while they hold you in place while you're cornering, they can give you a backache. But these Recaros, they're the perfect balance of gripping you and holding you in place while you go around a bend at Mach 2 and providing decent comfort. And then there's the noise. It's quite a quiet car, actually. When you're just pootling along, you don't hear much. But when you put your foot down, have a listen to this. Not, that fine sound comes from a four-cylinder turbo engine. It's a two-litre with 247 brake horsepower, which is good for 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 6.5 seconds and a top speed of 154 miles an hour. Yet Ford says despite this performance, the car can return 39 miles per gallon if you're careful with the throttle, though it's kind of unlikely that you will be. But if it's outright performance you want from your hot hatch, then the Vauxhall Astra VXR has more power and is the quickest to 60 miles an hour. And if it's the sharpest handling hot hatch you want, then the Renault Sport Megane 265 will run rings around this thing on a track. And one of the reasons for that is that it has a mechanical limited slip differential. This doesn't, it tries to use electronics to do the same job, to give more grip when you're exiting a corner, but it doesn't do quite such a good job. It also suffers a bit of torque steer when you accelerate under power, and that means the steering wheel wiggles about in your hands a bit. There are some other problems too. OK, so beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but the five-door Focus ST just doesn't look as sweet as other three-door rivals, such as the VW Sirocco. It seems like an uncouth boy racer next to Volkswagen's more restrained Golf GTI. The interior isn't quite as nice as the Golfs either. Yes, there's lots of soft-touch materials, but the turbo gauge dials look like they've just been stuck on. That's probably because they have just been stuck on. Also, the optional Sony stereo is fiddly to use. However, when you see the price, you soon forget these shortcomings because the entry-level Focus ST is about three grand less than a Golf GTI, and that makes it the performance bargain of the decade, which kind of puts everything into focus.